How would you like to know that a certain person is from the people of Jannah? Now, like if I tell you, this guy is from the people of Jannah. Can we say that? As our aqidah, as people of Ahl sunnah wal Jama'ah, we cannot confirm to anyone that he is 100% from the people of Jannah or he is 100% from the people of the Hellfire. But Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he gave us a sign. In many ahadith, I will mention three of them. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, soon you will be able to find out who are the people of Jannah and who are the people of the hellfire. They said, how ya Rasulullah? He said, with praise and condemnation, you are Allah's witnesses upon one another. That's the first hadith. Second hadith, a janazah passed by and the Sahaba praised the deceased. So Rasulullah said, it has became certain, it became certain, it became certain. Then another janazah passed by and the Sahaba condemned the guy. They said bad things about the deceased. Rasulullah said, wajabat, wajabat, wajabat. He said the same exact thing. He said, Ya Rasulullah, the first one we praised, you say wajabat. And the second one we, we condemned and you said wajabat. He said, the first one that you praised, wajabat lahu al-jannah. The one that you praised in the beginning, jannah became a must became due to him. And the one you condemned, Jahannam, hellfire, became due to him or to her. Third hadith, final hadith. The people of Jannah are the ones whom Allah fill their ears with the praise of people while they are listening. And the people of the hellfire are the people whom Allah fill their ears with condemnation, people's condemnation, and they are listening. Now, if you look at that, all the three ahadith, what is that sign that indicate that a person who's walking among us, living among us, is from the people of Jannah or from the people of the hellfire? It is the reputation among the community. What do people say about you? And don't get that confused by doing things to please people. Naturally, by nature, you love to help. By nature, you always visit the sick by nature you love to do this amal because allah ordered you number one they bring you close to allah rasulullah said allah filled his ears with praise while he's listening he's obviously listening this is for exaggeration of how good is that person that his reputation became so good that wherever he goes people talk about him this man wallahi ya allah i remember when i needed this he was there for me when i moved he came to help me when i was in the hospital he visited me when i was going through hardship he was the first one who came he is always there for me or the other kind and subhanallah you know, who's always, you know, you could, you hear this guy cursed him, this guy cursed him. Everywhere you go, they are cursing that president. They're cursing that king. They're cursing that ruler because of what they have done to their people. Their, their ears themselves are filled with the condemnation of the people and they're hearing it on a daily basis. Rasulullah the hadith is blunt, straightforward. The people of the hellfire, whom their reputation in the community, in the country, in the state, in the village, is evil subhanallah so ya akhwan this is an opportunity this is a great opportunity from rasulullah to know am i from the people of jannah or am i from the people of the hellfire of course there's nothing called guaranteed because it's all the amal are by the way they end right may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us all from the people of jannah may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us away from the hellfire assalamu alaikum